Good afternoon, students again. Okay, uh, today I am going to discuss about the anaerobic uh, gram negative bacteria, gram negative bacteria, cocci, okay, and uh, the phototrophic bacteria also, okay. Uh, now, moving forward with the anaerobic gram negative cocci, some of the examples are acidaminococcus fermentans, megaspira, centrococcus, sacro mutans, okay. And basically, it consists of a family Velliono la seriei, and which is grouped under the category which consists of non motile poker, which, which normally occurs in the pairs. Okay, and they are normally found in the oral cavity, respiratory tract, or the intestinal tract of the humans, ruminants, rodents, and pigs. And pigs. Okay, so I have taken one of the bacteria which is a Velionella in this group. Okay, and the histine gram negative and a cocci with a size range from 0.3 to 0.5 micrometer in diameter and appear by light microscopy as diplococci as they occur in chains mostly and also in the short chains. And the specialized structures are basically they are non sporulating, chemo organotrophic in which pyruvate, lactate, malate, fumarate and oxaloacetate are fermented and carbohydrates and polyols are not fermented except for the one species where fructose fermentation has been detected, where fructose fermentation has been detected and uh, as we are discussing the anaerobic group, okay, Valionella is also a anaerobic cocci and the pH they have a pH optima around 6.5 to 8 and with the optimum temperature requirement of 30 to 37 degrees Celsius and nutritional requirements are complex and the carbon dioxide is required for the growth and products basically which they produced are acetate, propionate, carbon dioxide, hydrogen are produced from the lactate, they are oxidase negative, catalase negative but uh, some species do produce a typical catalase which basically lacks a porifirin in the structure and the habitat they are parasitic in mouths and in the intestinal and respiratory tracts of men and other animals as I told you earlier and pathogenicity they are parasitic to human beings as well as various other ruminants okay this one is a photograph of a Velionella okay cocci they are very small in size Moving forward uh, with a next group which are phototrophic bacteria, okay, uh, especially phototrophic and oxygenic bacteria, okay, and the uh, phototrophic and oxygenic bacteria are basically divided into four uh, groups, okay, in which uh, one is green sulfur bacteria, next one is green non sulfur bacteria, next one is purple sulfur bacteria, and purple non sulfur bacteria. In general, you all know, <coughs> phototrophs are those organisms which carry out photosynthesis and they capture energy from light and use this energy to manufacture the carbohydrates from the carbon dioxide, okay. So the photosynthesis occurs in green and purple bacteria under anoxygenic, anoxygenic terms and cyanobacteria in the case of oxygenic terms. As well as you already know, algae and higher plants also have a pro photosynthesis process. And the photosynthetic uh, bacteria, which probably, which probably are involved, evolved early in the evolution of the living organisms and uh, uh, perform their own version of photosynthesis in the absence of oxygen, in the absence of oxygen however algae and green plants make much more of the world's carbohydrate supply okay so there are basically two types oxygenic phototrophic bacteria and anoxygenic phototrophic bacteria so let us first discuss uh, some of the basic characters of the phototrophic and oxygenic bacteria 
they are mostly gram negative and a cells are spherical ovoid and are also sometimes long rods or some are even spiral in shape okay if motile they are motile by polar subpolar or the peritrichous flagella or are non motile or are non motile and none of the described species contains gas vacuoles and the internal photosynthetic membranes are continuous are continuous in the cytoplasmic membrane and consist of a finger like intrusions such as vesicles or lamellae polysaccharides polybeta hydroxybutyric acid and polyphosphate have have been also found okay whereas in the case of uh, plant cells okay whereas in the case of plant cells normally photosynthetic membranes are basically stacked okay are stacked whereas in the case of this bacteria the membranes are continuous this membrane are continuous okay they divide by the binary fusion or show polar growth and budding and color of the cell suspension is green okay or maybe yellowish green or yellowish brown or brown brown red red or purple violet okay it is due to the presence of various photosynthetic pigments as well as carotenoids which are present which are present in this photosynthetic bacteria under anaerobic conditions in the light all species grow as photo heterotrophs with a various organic substrates also or as photo autotrophs either molecular hydrogen and in some species they also use sulfide thiosulfate or elemental sulfur as electron donor and carbon dioxide as sole carbon source also so under the uh, oxygenic condition ranging from microaerobic to aerobic conditions in the dark many representatives can grow chemo heterotrophs also and some can also grow chemo autotrophs also in the more species the formation of the pigment and of the internal membrane systems are repressed under aerobic conditions but become deep repressed at oxygen tensions below a certain level below a certain level okay and uh, what do they require for their growth they require various vitamins okay and most common required are biotin thiamine niacin and para amino benzoic acid and these compounds are rarely needed by species such as from the group promesiaci and ectothiorhodospirasi which may require vitamin b12 as they are sole growth factor and growth of the most species is enhanced by small amount of yeast extract and some species have complex nutrient requirements okay now uh, moving forward with the unique features as i told you okay they do not have chlorophyll similar to that of plant but they have a bacterial chlorophyll okay which may range from bacterial chlorophyll a to g okay from a to g okay and this pigments are basically located around the cell membrane around the cell membrane and which are basically continuous in structure and the habitat basically members of this group are widely distributed in nature and found not only in the fresh water marine hypersaline environments but also in the moist soils paddy fields etc they live preferably in the aquatic environments with a significant amount of soluble organic matter low oxygen tension and rarely are rarely found form a colored blooms and they are characteristically formed by a representative of the other families of the anoxygenic phototrophic bacteria okay so these are the just the basic features of the phototrophic bacteria okay now moving forward further for the purple bacteria and green bacteria okay the purple bacteria which contains internal sulfur granules okay what does it indicate that in the air structure they have some sulfur granules which can be easily identified in the microscope if you want to study uh, this photosynthetic bacteria you need to use a basically vinogradsky column you need to use a vinogradsky column for the study 
okay and it is the best way to study this column okay now moving forward with the examples of purple bacteria okay with the purple bacteria okay in purple also there are two types purple sulfur bacteria and purple non sulfur bacteria purple sulfur bacteria and purple non sulfur bacteria also okay and uh, the examples of purple bacteria with the internal sulfur granules are amoebobacter promethium lamprobacter modesto halophilus lamprocystis roseopersinia thiocapsa thiocystis thiodictin thiopedia rostia thiospoilum genesis and the external sulfur granules containing purple bacteria is just in one example ectothyrodo spira and the bacteria with no granules non sulfur rhodobacter rhodocyclus rhodomicrobium vanilli rhodophila globiformis rhodopseudomonas and rhodospirillum okay the green bacteria with the sulfur granules okay green bacteria with the sulfur granules are enochloris per filivi chlorobium chloroherpetum thalassium palladictin and pro prosthichloris and with no sulfur granules are heliobacillus mobilis and heliobacterium chlorum and with the multicellular filaments are chloroflexus aurenticus chloronema heliothrix origenensis and oscillo chloris and oscillo chloris okay so now uh, what is the basic difference between uh, the photosynthesis in the case of animals uh, sorry uh, in the plants or with the other or with the other bacteria okay normally in the case of photosynthesis in the case of plants oxygen is produced okay whereas in the case of uh, an oxygenic photosynthesis oxygen is not produced and there are also other features and there are also the other features of this bacteria okay they have various water insoluble carotenoid pigments also which can trap and absorb light energy and transmit it to the bacterial chlorophyll also and this anoxygenic bacteria grow phototrophically only under the anaerobic conditions and are capable and are incapable of forming oxygen okay as i told you okay so uh, one of the bacteria which is basically an uh, anoxygenic which undergoes an oxygenic photosynthesis basically which are basically cyanobacteria okay it can produce oxygen but not this bacteria purple or green bacteria okay one another uh, difference is with the spectrum okay with the spectrum of uh, photosynthesis where the photosynthesis occurs in this bacteria in the case of bacterial chlorophyll uh, which is basically a uh, pigment found in this bacteria okay can absorb light in a long wavelength of about 725 to even 745 nanometer okay which is basically in the far far red region also okay so the variation basically is is present when we compare about with the plant one also okay normally uh, if we have known for the chlorophyll a which is basically present in the plants okay which is basically present in the plants have an uh, absorption spectrum okay which is also known as or uh, to be specific absorption maxima with a range of 680 to 685 nanometer but but uh, in the case of bacterial chlorophyll a it is around 850 850 to 910 nanometer okay whereas in the case of bacterial chlorophyll b it has 1020 to 1035 nanometer also okay and with the bacterial chlorophyll c it ranges from 745 to even 760 nanometer also 
and in the case of bacterial chlorophyll G, it ranges from 725 to 745 nanometers, okay, and the bacterial chlorophyll E has a range from 715 to 725 nanometer, okay. So, you may clearly see a striking difference between the absorption spectrum when we compare with the, with the plants also, okay. Now, uh, I am going to discuss a bacteria which is basically a thiocapsa, which is basically a thiocapsa. Uh, Thiostein gram negative cells are spherical to avoid to avoid 12.2 to 3 micrometer in diameter and tetrads are also formed. Okay. There are non motile and contain internal photosynthetic systems of vesicular or tubular type in which the photosynthetic pigments bacteriochlorophyll A or B and carotenoids are located. They do not contain gas vacuoles and an animal sulfur transiently is transiently stored inside the cells. Tropism as we are studying phototrophic bacteria, as we are studying phototrophic bacteria, okay. They are phototrophic, okay, and maybe chemoautotrophic also, or even mixotrophic. Okay, what do you mean by mixotrophic? Mixotrophic are those organisms which use both the type autotrophy, heterotrophy also, where phototrophy, okay, it can use a variety of ones, okay, under microaerobic to aerobic conditions in the dark and capable of photolithoautotrophy also with the sulfide or sulfur as electron donors and the final oxidation product is the sulphate is the sulphate. Now, uh, this one is in photograph of a thiocapsa rosio persinia, thiocapsa rosio persinia, a sulphate oxidizing non oxygenic phototroph and contains intracellular sulphur granules bundled tubular pigment vesicles. Okay. Now, this is a uh, photograph of a colony of thiocapsa. And this one is a photograph, okay, of a cell of the thiocapsa where you can see sulfur granule, which you can see sulfur granules, okay. So, the thiocapsa, thiodictin now, which I am going to discuss is basically again gram negative, okay. Sometimes appear spindle shaped and may form aggregates when the cells are arranged end to end in an irregular net like structures. These bacteria have particularly a net like structures, okay. And motility, they are non motile under all conditions and contain same similar type of uh, structures to, which are normally found in the photosynthetic bacteria, okay. Contain large irregular shaped gas vacuoles in the central part which are basically not found in all photosynthetic bacteria and during sulphide oxidation globules of elemental sulphur are transiently stored in the gas vacuole and free peripheral part of the cell. Okay. Tropism, they are obligatory phototrophic capable of photolithoautotrophy only with the sulphide or sulphur as the electron donor and they are strictly aerobic whereas thiocapsa can survive in the aerobic condition also as it was a mixotrophic and normally they are found in mud, stagnant waters of ponds, lakes which contain hydrogen sulphide, okay. But not uncommon in as uh, planktonic bacterium in the sulphide containing hypolimion of the freshwater lakes. Hypolimion is a place uh, where is, there is a less amount of oxygen okay and less amount of light and the final oxidation product will be sulphate okay thiocestes next bacteria is thiocestes they are gram negative cell spherical to slightly ovoid in shape they before cell division they are diplococcus shaped cells occur singly or in pairs or may grow in a irregular aggregate surrounded by a slime and motility they are motile by means of a single flagellum and contained photosynthetic membranes of vesicular type for vesicular 
type in which photosynthetic pigments bacteriochlorophyll A and carotenoids of group 3 and 4 are located. They do not contain gas vacuoles. During the sulphide oxidation, globules of elemental sulphur are stored inside the cell and storage of polysaccharide, polybeta hydroxybutyrate as well as polyphosphates. Under anaerobic conditions, cells are capable of photolithoautotrophic growth with sulphide or sulphur as electron donor. They are facultatively chemoautotrophs under the microaerobic to the aerobic conditions. Okay. So, the products uh, basically which are formed, okay, the final oxidation again will be a sulphate and habitate is basically which they are involved is an anoxic means less oxygen containing or without the oxygen containing sulphide water and mud of fresh and brackish water and the marine environments. Okay, this is a photograph of an thiocystis. Okay, now you can see a diplococci like structure here. Okay, yeah, it may be not clearly visible to you, I think. Okay, so basically uh, purple phototrophic bacteria. Okay, uh, these have basically pigments bacteriochlorophyll A and B. Okay. Now, the next bacteria of the same uh, phototrophic group is, which is basically in pelodictin, gram-negative cells are rowed to avoid occur singly or in net like or more or less spherical aggregates, motility, they are non-motile and the specialized structures basically branching may occur as a result of a tannery fusion. Cells regularly contain gas vacuoles cultures or cell materials is either green or brown photocentric pigments are located in the cytoplasmic membrane and the chlorosomes which lie underlie are attached to the cytoplasmic cytoplasmic membrane they are phototrophic photoautotrophic growth with the sulfide or sulfur as the electron donor as an electron donor okay they are obligatory anaerobic with a temperature range of about 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. And basically, paleodictin require sulfur compounds and also bicarbonates and a number of organic substrates may be also photo assimilated, may be also photo assimilated and uh, bacterial chlorophyll C, D and E occurs as the major, major photosynthetic pigment. Whereas in the bacteria which we previously discussed, okay, uh, which uh, basically contain bacteriochlorophyll A as the major pigment, but this bacteria contains bacteriochlorophyll C, D or E as a major photosynthetic pigment. The chlorobactine or isorenuretine is the major carotenoid component and during the sulphide oxidation, globules of elemental sulphur are formed outside the cells. The sulfur may be oxidized to the sulfate, okay, and the habitat hydrogen sulfide containing water and the mud of fresh water, brackish water, and the marine environments. Okay, this is a photograph of an paleodictin. Okay, this is a photograph, okay, not this one. No? Okay, next one is a chlorobium. Next bacteria is an chlorobium. Again, gram negative cells spherical, ovoid, straight or curved rod shaped, 0.3 to 1 micrometer wide and 0.4 to 3 micrometer long, and sometimes much longer also. And cells are often united in chains resembling the streptococci or filaments. Okay or filaments and curved rods and strains may also form long spirals. They are non-motile and exhibit two clearly distinguishable colors. Okay, one of them is grass green and second one is a brown, also chocolate brown. Significantly, these colors can be recognized under light microscope with the bright field illumination. With the bright field illumination. 
Okay. Now, towards the again to the oxygen requirement of the chlorobium, they are obligatory and aerobic. They are obligatory and aerobic. Okay, with the temperature ranges from twenty to thirty-five degrees Celsius, and the hydrogen sulfide containing mud and water of fresh water, brackish water, and even marine environments, they require ammonia as an hydrogen source. and molecular nitrogen is also fixed by some of the strains and in this case bacteriophile c d or e are the major photosynthetic pigments in addition to the small amount of bacteriophile a chlorobactin is the major carotenoid component and the trophic photolitho autotrophic with the sulfide or sulfur as the electron donor as a electron donor okay this one is a photograph of a uh, chlorobium as i told you contains brown pigments okay contains brown pigments okay now moving forward again uh, with the photographs of the chlorobium so photographs of the chlorobium now the next one is a rhodobacter okay next one is a rhodobacter which belongs to the family rhodospirillaceae which belongs to the family rhodospirillaceae and they are contain basically they contain purple non sulfur bacteria and cultures appear orange brown to purple red under aerobic conditions okay so these are the general properties of the rhodobacterium okay of the family rhodospirillaceae also okay and the purple non sulfur bacteria exhibit a diversity of shapes ranging from helical okay non prosticate rod shape ovoid or even spherical shape that multiply by the binary fission or sometimes by budding also okay so they are gram negative ovoid this rhodobacter okay they have polar flagella internal photosynthetic membranes are present as vesicles are present as vesicles okay they are photo autotrophic and is possible in the presence of the sulfide as electron donor and in some species with the thiosulfate and molecular hydrogen as well growth occurs photo heterotrophically under anaerobic conditions in the light with the great variety of organic compounds as carbon and electron sources the photosynthetic pigments are basically bacteriochlorophyll a and carotenoids of the spiridion series of the spiridion series okay now uh, next one is in thiospirillum genesis next bacterium is in thiospirillum genesis okay they are gram negative cells curved or rod shaped spiral or may also form a irregular aggregate surrounded by slime motility by means of multi trichous polar flagella under certain conditions cells may be cells may be non motile cells may be non motile and specialized structures of thiospirillum genesis contain internal photosynthetic membrane systems of the vesicular type in which photosynthetic pigments are located and they do not contain gas vacuoles and they do not contain gas vacuoles elemental sulfur is basically stored in the in the in the cells and the storage materials are polysaccharides polybeta hydroxybutyrate and polyphosphates tropism they are obligatory phototrophic and capable of chemolytho autotrophic growth with the sulfide 
or sulfur as they are electron donors and they are strictly anaerobic and they are strictly anaerobic in which sulfate is the ultimate oxidation product sulfate is the ultimate oxidation product okay Now, uh, these are the various photographs of other species also, which contains uh, chromatium, venosum, okay, uh, which uh, this one, chromatium, venosum, which belongs to the family of chromatiaceae, and the family contains a purple sulfur bacteria, and the cultures appear orange brown to purple violet also uh, from the family chromatiaceae. And all genera are capable of photolithoautotrophic growth uh, using, I think, uh, um, hydrogen sulfide or elemental sulfur as the electron donor for the carbon dioxide fixation. Okay, so when H2S uh, is the electron donor, globules of elemental sulfurs are also found usually inside the cells. Now, uh, check uh, these globules. Okay. Now see the black dots which appear here, black dots which appear here are basically globules of the sulphur, okay, are globules of the sulphur and the sulphur is eventually oxidized to the sulphate and some strains can also grow organotrophically also and most species are anaerobic and cannot grow in the dark even under microaerophilic conditions okay so the next one which we have already studied thiosperm genesis this is the structure of the thiosperm genesis okay the last one is a thiopedia rosia where you can clearly see where the cells are basically stacked with each other okay where the cells are stacked with each other Okay. Now, uh, as I told you in the earlier part of the lecture, that the thio, this phototrophic bacteria have a variety of uh, pigments okay, due to which they produce different types of pigments by the pigments. Okay. So, uh, this one is a photograph okay, of three different uh, blooms of phototrophic bacterium. For the first one is Thiospelum genesis. The second one is in chromatium ocani. The third one is the chlorobium limicola. The third one is the chlorobium limicola. Okay. Now, colored photographs of the group chromatium ocani, chlorobium limicola, thiospirillum genesis, paleodictin, clotherity for me. Okay. Please have a look. I will give you all a half a minute. And uh, yes, I forgot to tell you about the uh, chlorobium species, which belongs to the family chlorobiaceae also. Chlorobiaceae basically, and family basically contains green sulfur bacteria. And normally, the cells of this family are ovoid, bin shaped, or rod shaped. Okay, and multiply mostly by the binary fusion. Okay, and gas vacuoles occur in some of the species of the family chlorobiaceae. And the green sulfur bacteria live as photolithotrophs using hydrogen sulfide as the electron donor for the carbon dioxide fixation. The granules of the elemental sulfur are basically deposited, are deposited outside the cell, never within the cells. Okay, never within the cells. Okay. And finally, they will be oxidized to the sulfates. Okay, they will be finally oxidized to the sulfates. Okay, next one bacteria which is an uh, chloroflexus. Okay, last bacteria I think uh, of our today's lecture chloroflexus. They is 10 gram negative and it belongs to the family chloroflexiaceae. Okay, the family contains green non sulfur bacteria in the main genus. 
is chloroflexus and is thermophilic and is thermophilic with an optimum temperature of around 50 to 52 to 60 degree celsius around uh, they are found in the hot springs where it forms green or orange mats okay and they have very long filaments also okay they have a very long filament filaments okay so chloroflexus cells are basically have filamentous structures which exhibit basically a gliding motility okay they are motile by means of gliding not by means of flagella as flagella are not present and these are basically photo organotrophs okay they are sometimes also photo autotrophs also okay some are chemo heterotrophs also and several carbon sources are utilized example acetate glycerol glucose pyruvate as well as glutamate okay similar to other bacteria they can go chemo lithotrophically with the hydrogen sulfide as electron donor but in the dark conditions they can grow aerobically as the chemo heterotrophs also okay now you can clearly see the structure of chloroflexus which has a longer filaments which have a longer filaments okay next one uh, ectothyorhodospira okay ectothyorhodospira gram negative morphology cells are spiral or vibrio or rod shape okay uh, it is r here rod shape and motile by means of polar flagella with or without gas vacuoles it may depend from species to the species okay and tropism able to perform an oxygenic photosynthesis with bacterial chlorophylls carotenoids as the photosynthetic pigments okay oxygen they grow anaerobically okay sulfide is oxidized to elemental sulfur which may be further again similar to other organisms will be converted into sulfates and members of the ectothyorhodospiracy are found in the marine to extreme saline environments containing sulfide and have a neutral to alkaline ph okay this one is in photographic